Hey, this is Bryce and thanks for tuning into my YouTube channel, Jack of Trades. In this video, I'm going to install the last piece of the puzzle for this build. That is a UBEC, which stands for a Universal Battery Elimination Circuit. And what that does is, it is basically a way to get power to a piece of electronics from a battery um, that you otherwise don't want to run off, well, it's interesting actually, now that I think about it. Um, the BEC, so <laughs> if, if, you, if you go back 30 years with RC cars, like the Falcon, um, maybe even 40 years, uh, you, you used to have to run a four cell pack to power your receiver and your servos. And then the, uh, the main pack, you know, the 7.2 volt battery pack was meant for powering just the motor through the E through the speed controller. Um, shortly thereafter, uh, companies started introducing BECs into their electronics or battery, battery elimination circuits, which meant that you didn't have to run that separate four cell pack uh, for your electronics. You could run, basically, <clears throat> you would, like with a mechanical speed controller, there would be an extra connector coming off of that going to uh, the receiver to power the receiver and then you would run your two servos your steering and your throttle servo um, off of the receiver so you're basically get, getting power from the speed control the mechanical speed controller uh, to the receiver and then from the receiver to the servos um, and then when you have the electronic speed controllers um, basically the power would go through the connector this the receiver connector of that ESC but basically you're still getting power from the main stick pack um, through the ESC to the receiver and that would feed, um, then you only had one servo, so that would feed power to the, both the receiver and the um, steering servo. So that's what a BEC does, is it eliminates that four cell bat auxiliary battery that was typically used for the servos and the receiver. <laughs> okay, I forgot. Um, I went off on that little tangent on the explanation of a BEC and I forgot my original point. It just occurred to me how ironic it is that, um, you know, 40 years ago, 30, 40 years ago, we have these separate batteries to power the electronics, the servos, etc. Then we got away from it with these BEC circuits. And even today I'm installing a BEC circuit, a high voltage, high current BEC circuit. Um, and, but I'm essentially adding another a dedicated battery for the servo so i've kind of rolled it's not really eliminating a battery it's adding a battery uh to run a servo so it, it's kind of a um <laughs> uh, what do you call that it's an oxymoron i guess <laughs> um and now we get into these high-end elect electric cars and, and this one in particular with the fifth scale size servo um, the speed controller, the ESC, does have a BEC circuit in it that delivers power to the receiver from the main battery um, and it can power the servos as well. However, that circuit, the BEC circuit, is in this particular speed controller is only good for six amps. And normally that would power any servo that you could plug into your receiver and you would be fine. But we, when you get into the fifth scale stuff, especially like with this Reef's RC servo, um, it actually draws up to 11 amps at 8.4 volts. And that's the other thing you get into is high voltage servos, right? And whether or not your receivers can handle the high voltage or the other servos, if you have more than one servo, can handle high voltage. Um, usually you run a higher, higher voltage servo to get more torque, more speed, um, but you have to make sure all the other electronics are compatible with that. Um, so in this particular case, I'm running a Reefs RC Beast 1000, uh, which draws 11 amps at 8.4 volts. Um, where do I get 8.4 volts from? And can my receiver handle 8.4 volts? I didn't even bother looking into it. Um, I, I picked up, because I was already overrated based on what my ESC could put out, um, I picked up a, it's basically a high voltage UBEC by Hobby Wing. And this can handle up to an 18S pack, which is, well, that's a lot. <laughs> I'm running an 8S setup. And originally I was going to hook this up to the battery, the ADA setup, but the wiring got a little complicated. And so what I ended up doing was running a dedicated battery for this. And all this does is provide uh, 
power to my um, steering servo. Nothing else. It doesn't provide power to the motor, doesn't provide power to the ESC. It's just for this, doesn't even provide power to the receiver. It's just for that steering servo. And then I get signal from the steering ser or from the receiver to that steering servo, or actually it goes through this. So basically, um, you, you'll see in the video, but basically I take the lead from the receiver to here, which gives me my signal for the receiver. And then I go from here to the receiver, which basically transmits that signal plus the power from the separate battery pack on this. And actually, so I'm, once I kind of worked it out, I ended up running an act that dedicated pack for the steering servo and actually, it actually worked out very well. Um, it's very well packaged. Um, the, the ergonomics of it worked out pretty well. Um, I have an additional on off switch for that battery pack or basically for this guy here. So basically, I, you know, I have the main power switch, which turns on the ESC, which then delivers power to the receiver. So the receiver gets power. And then I have a secondary switch, which gets power to the steering servo. Um, so I'll go ahead and flip the camera around and I will show the installation of this guy, which went um, very well. I was happy with the product. Um, I would recommend it. Um, <clears throat> so I'm gonna go ahead and turn the camera around and show the process for installing this product. Um, and again, at the start of the installation, I was going in one direction and then kind of halfway through, I realized I wanted to do something different, which is that separate pack. And that's the direction that I ended up going. What made it challenging with this car is that you have to take apart quite a bit of stuff to get the batteries out of this car. Um, you have to pull the body off, you have to pull the roll cage, you gotta pull the light pods. There's two covers that pop off. Um, you've got these wires that feed through the slot in the rear of the battery box. Uh, and then you got to um, install three different batteries, you know, two batteries for my ESC, and then a third battery for the steering servo, and then you got to get it all plugged in, um, put everything back together. <clears throat> Basically, it's a it's a 10 minute cycle to undo it and put it back together. Well, I timed myself, and the first time I did it was 10 minutes. It's five minutes one way, so I double it 10 minutes round trip. As you, you, as I do it more and more, it'll probably get faster. I could probably trim that down to five minutes, but um, <laughs> it is timely. <laughs> and it's kind of a pain in the butt having to take everything apart to get to the battery. But it is what it is. Um, so I'm not gonna complain too much about it. Yeah, so a little bit about this. Um, so it's made by Hobbywing. It's, they call it UBEC, which stands for Universal Battery Elimination Circuit. Um, it's rated at 25 amps continuous, 50 amps uh, peak or max. Um, the input's anywhere from 3 to 18 S. Um, I'm, I end up running a 3 S for it because um, I only need 8.4 volts. It does have, um, it has dip switches so you can select the output voltage. Uh, maximum being 8.4, I think minimum being 5.2. Um, and then there's a range in between there depending on what you want to run off of it. Um, so it's a nice little box. It's not small. Uh, it would not work in a 10 scale vehicle, for example. It's, it's actually, it's probably three times as big as a typical receiver. It's bigger than most speed controllers. It's, it's quite a big unit. It works fine in this fifth scale unit and it probably is meant for um, RC vehicles that have a lot of servos or draw a lot of current. So think like helicopters, um, uh, airplanes, uh, just bigger vehicles that require a lot of current and a lot of power for the electronics. Um, and, and so that's not the typical case with a two-wheel drive RC car, but it's more the case with large-scale stuff or more advanced multi-channel you know, multi um, RCs. With that being said, um, I will go ahead and flip the camera around and show you uh, the process for installing this. And yeah, thank you for tuning in. Um, take care. All right, so we're going to install this uh, Hobby Wing um, high voltage BEC. It's actually high voltage, high current. So it's rated at 25 amps, uh, continuous 50 amps peak. Um, the steering servo on the Baja, I think is rated at 11 amps peak. Um, I think what I'm gonna do is actually run this to its own battery. So I have this 3S 
1300 milliamp hour pack. All right, so we got a connector soldered on. We went ahead and uh, put some heat shrink over these ends because we're not going to use them. Let's try that. I'm going to mount this thing to this cover like so. So I'm gonna get power from this unit. Um, that much is obvious. Um, but then I need to get signal from the uh, receiver to the unit. But I don't want the receiver to see the power from the unit. But it does have to share common ground for that signal to work. So basically I need to take my little jumper here and pull out the, the power lead. So that all that this thing gets is, all that, they share common ground and that's kind of your reference point for signal. And then this, the receiver sends a signal to this and the signal goes through this to the servo. And then the servo is only getting power from this unit. So I'm gonna take this jumper and remove the uh, the power lead. All right, so we're just doing a little test here with everything hooked up. Uh, we got steering, we got power to the wheels, so we are good. The concept works, or not the concept, the. Uh, the DC or the UBC uh, works. Signal lost. Signal lost. I think we might go ahead and take it out on its main voyage now. There's nothing else. Wait, not waiting on anything else. And the weather is, we have a break in the weather for the day. The sun's actually out. So yeah, let's go run it. All right, so we got the battery charged. Let's go and get, we're gonna go to the park and do some running. So let's put everything together as if that's what we're gonna do. All right, I think that's it. Let's get her out and run it.